We are live and we are in Woodstock. And yes, this is the main eventer, Gross83, as I'm known in some circles or in other circles, Brock Woodstock. Real name, you have to be in a very select circle to know my real name. Actually, most people know it, but I don't feel like using it on here, so I don't want to. So tonight, what have we got for you? Now, I've got 66 wonderful subscribers, and I am glad to have every single one of them. Now, I just got a new subscriber this week. This is a gentleman with a channel called Louisiana Beer Reviews. And he has been doing this for a long time. From looking at his scrolling through his videos, I would say at least 10 years. So that is actually quite a bit longer than the uh, Beer Geek Nation, which doesn't do his videos anymore and he had a great channel so I don't know maybe he'll one day he'll get back on there but he he had a he had a very good channel and also I do not know if they have their channel anymore but tell beer do us part was another favorite channel of mine it was a husband and wife Lily and Dan and they lived in Illinois, central or southern Illinois, something like that. I'm not sure. But they they were very entertaining and informative. That is the key. Be entertaining and informative, which I try to be. But we are going to get right into tonight's beer. And tonight's beer, believe me, it is a classic. And I'm going to give you a hint of what beer this is. Now this beer comes from the land of Scarborough waters, waters. Now, some of you have already guessed it and some of you might be a little too young to know that slow that commercial slogan and that is totally fine because I don't think this product has advertised on TV since the 70s and yes I was alive in the 70s believe it or not beer bears tonight's selection is an all-time classic that if I were to bet dollars to donuts, your father and your grandfather drank it, and maybe they still do. But let's get right into this beautiful, beautiful beer. This, of course, is Ham's Beer, an all-time classic. And it says, it says a lot of words. America's classic premium beer born in the land of sky blue waters. And there's some words here that I can't read. And this, of course, is a, I don't know what the ABV is on this. God, this thing is so small. Oh, four points. Okay. And this beautiful classic is coming in at a mild 4.7 ABV. So. If you're at the old picnic, Memorial Day, 4th of July, Labor Day, pick up a case of hams for the boys or the girls, you know. Women do drink beer. It is a fact. They definitely do drink beer. So pick up a case for the guys and the girls. Anyone who likes beer. So let's pop this bad boy open because this is going to be an exciting review. And I did see uh, Louisiana beer reviews. I did see, I don't know how old, I think that review is like five years old. But he, like, he enjoyed that one, okay? He was very into that one. He thought it was 
rounded beer. He used the term rounded, which, uh, as I understand, means that it's not too hoppy, but not too malty. Perfectly balanced beer. So rounded, a well-rounded beer. That is the term that he used, and that is a good term. So I am going to use it. So here we are. Beer. Look at this cup. We got the cup. We got the beer. We're going to pour it. We're not going to pour it too slow. Oh, this is a really nice color. Oh, yeah. Mild pour. There we go. Oh, yeah. Now, this is a golden straw color, which I think is quite excellent. I think, I think I'm going to be in for a treat here. Now, this was a 30-pack for under $20. And there's some beers that I buy that are thirty dollars for four of them, and this one is thirty because you gotta you gotta know if one week you're gonna spend a lot on the imperial stouts and the limited editions, and the next week you you might you probably want to go with your hams or your PBR, or your moosehead. But let's get a taste of this, and first we will need to get the aroma. It just has a nice beer. It, it, it reminds you of you're going go to the ballpark with your father or your grandfather and and you get a hot dog and he and you you're a young man or a young lady so you get a hot dog and a soda pop and and grandpa he gets an ice cold beer. Mmm. That is exactly what that smells like. It's just, mm. or the, or the old man's playing poker and they're all drinking beer and smoking cigar. Well, it doesn't really smell like a cigar, but it's got that old school grit that you remind you of your father or your grandfather. So that, that's kind of nostalgic for me. I'm, I'm in like that smell. Hmm. That's ref that's nice. Let's get a taste of this beauty because I am really getting excited now. Oh, that is crit. That is nice. That's that actually has. I was expecting a thin, a thinner mouth feel, but this has a solid like a solid medium mouth. It's not heavy. Like when you've gotten to your uh, malt liquors, I mean, sometimes a heavy mouth feel is a, like with a stout, you want that really heavy, thick mouth feel that you can almost chew the beer. Look at that. But this, this really has a superb mouth feel. Oh my God, I'm into this. And that does go down easy. I had had this at the uh, Cork Lounge in 2018. I had a hams and I was kind of 50-50 on it. But I'm reviewing almost every beer that I can find. Maybe, hopefully not Rolling Rock. But if the people want Rolling Rock, then I'm going to do Rolling Rock. But Rolling Rock is probably the worst beer in the history of mankind. But that's not what we're talking about now. We're talking about Ham's beer. And Ham's beer is a good solid beer. It's that that mouthfeel really threw me for a loop because with these so-called budget loggers, you, you know, you're your Keystones, your PBIs, your Bush. God, that Bush light was terrible. But with those, you just automatically expect a thin, watery mouthfeel. But this hams, it comes into it almost like, like it kind of pops you in the, in the, in the mouth a little bit, like a little pow. This is good. This is excellent. And consider the price point.
I mean, it's not. There's not a ton, or a ton of flavor, but that's fine. Because sometimes you just want something by a little, a little milder, and this, this, this fits the bill. So I'm giving this one a high rating, man. I'm giving this one, a, and you got you have to understand the price point. Because if this one was thirty-five dollars for four cans, it would probably get two stars. But since it was like sixteen or seventeen for thirty cans, it's going to get it's go, the rating is going to be based on that. And this one, I give it a very high rate. I'm going to even rate this one higher than the Miller High Life that I reviewed recently with Chris Dunn. So this Ham's beer is getting five big stars. It tastes refreshing. It's as the fellow from Louisiana Beer, beer Reviews had said, it is a well-rounded beer, so it's got a really nice balance and the mouthfeel, I really like that solid mouthfeel for this beer. It is good. So this has been Gross 83, and I'm going to have a whole bunch of these tonight. So everybody have a good time and enjoy your weekend and have a great holiday and just enjoy life. Thank you. Also, go Bears, beat the Packers. Thank you, everybody. This is Gross 83.